The graph of a polynomial function can be determined by the function's degree, whether that's even or odd, and by its leading coefficient. In the polynomial example you see below, this is a fourth degree polynomial. So the degree here is four, which is an even number. So this is an even degree polynomial. The leading terms is the term out front. It's the term with the greatest degree. The coefficient of that term is called the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term of greatest degree in the polynomial. The end behavior of a polynomial function depends on the sign of its leading coefficient and whether the degree of the polynomial is even or odd. Let's start with even degree functions. Even degree functions, both ends will either rise or fall. It doesn't matter how many turning points that you have in between. In fact, that's what this dash here represents, the turning points. The bottom line is if the leading term the leading coefficient, if it's greater than zero, the leading coefficient, then it's going to rise up. Both ends going to rise up. And if the leading coefficient is less than zero, then both ends are going to fall down. Now let's look at odd degree functions. Odd degree functions will always have one end up and one end down. In other words, kind of look like an S shape. If the leading coefficient is greater than zero, uh, then it's going to end up. And if the coefficient is less than zero, uh, then it's going to end downward. Again, S shape will always have one end up and one end down. And in other words, a rise and a fall. So a recap, even degree, both ends up or both ends down. Odd degree, S shape, one end up and one end down.